Today, we're going to talk about some key nutrition terms. Uh, the terms we're going to talk about today are estimated average requirements, recommended dietary allowances, adequate intakes, tolerable upper intake levels. Okay, let's take a look at what those uh, terms mean. Let's start out with estimated average requirements and recommended dietary allowance. This curve, uh, these curves show number of people and daily requirement of a nutrient. We'll just call this one nutrient X. Okay, when we take a look at this, each point on these graphs, A, B, C, etc., represent the requirement of nutrient X for a particular person. And they follow this normal distribution of needs for nutrient X. The estimated average requirement is the average requirement of the population of people. Okay? In this case, A and B, persons A and B, need less than the estimated average requirement, whereas person C needs more of nutrient X than the esti estimated average requirement. So what is the recommended dietary allowance? This is the amount that's recommended by the USDA for you to include in your diet every day. Recommended dietary allowance, the RDA, is the amount of nutrient X that's required for 98% of people, all these people here, including person C, person A, person B, for 98% of the people, 97 and a half, in fact, percent of the people, uh, to get enough of nutrient X. Next, let's look, take a look at adequate intakes and upper tolerable limits. Um, what is an adequate intake? Well, an adequate intake is related to the recommended dietary allowance, the RDA, um, but it's a little bit more fuzzy. An adequate intake is a guess by scientists about how much of uh, a nutrient, nutrient X in this case, is needed by the population. And it's a little bit more fuzzy because they don't know exactly what percentage of people this is sufficient for, but it's a good guess. It's the best scientific guess that we have available. An upper tolerable limit is an important number for you to know about nutrients. Unfortunately, many nutrients, many vitamins, uh, and many minerals uh, can be ingested at levels uh, that become dangerous. And this is called the upper tolerable limit, or the UL. Um, eating or consuming nutrients above the upper tolerable limit it can be dangerous, uh, and it can make you sick. So it's very important to be aware of upper limits for nutrients. Where can you find your recommended dietary allowances? The uh, reference intakes, the daily ref dietary reference intakes, um, are developed and published by the Institute of Medicine in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Um, dietary reference intakes, which include your recommended dietary allowances and adequate intakes for waters, um, water, macronutrients, uh, vitamins, and minerals, can be found here at the USDA DRI tables uh, and application reports. It's important to know that uh, dietary reference intakes, uh, the RDAs and AIs uh, published by uh, the USDA, represent the most current scientific knowledge of nutrient needs for healthy populations and for healthy people. Um, individuals, uh, particularly individuals that are sick, may have requirements that are higher or lower than the dietary reference intakes. And you should always consult with your medical professional to understand what your specific dietary reference intakes may be. However, if you're a healthy person, another place to find your dietary reference intakes is to use this online calculator here at the USDA um, called the DRI dash calculator. Once again, it's just the most current scientific knowledge, so you should check in from time to time to see if any of your uh, daily recommended intakes have changed. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, 
short talk about key terms uh, to understand for nutrition. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care. This is the references and disclaimer page. Uh, the reference textbook that most of these uh, videos follow is Understanding Nutrition uh, by the authors Rolfs and Whitney. That's, uh, I use the 15th edition uh, by Cengage Publishing. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Nutrition Fast and Fun. Uh, there's lots of great videos that you'll find there. Uh, and finally, there's a medical disclaimer. You should read the medical disclaimer um, to make sure you fully understand uh, your uh, rights and responsibilities. Thank you and have a great day.